Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use the Cypress Chrome Recorder. So let's begin. In terms of automation, you must have heard about different record and playback extensions. And mostly of these extensions support the Selenium, right? You can record your scenario, you can export the scenario, you can playback the scenario. And here in this tutorial, we will be talking about something similar for the Cypress and this is known as Cypress Chrome Recorder. So how we can use this Cypress Chrome Recorder? For that, you need to go to the browser here and you must need to ensure that you are using the latest version of the Chrome. So go to these three dots here and go to help here and click on this about Google Chrome. So here you will find that which version of Chrome you are using. I am using the latest version so you need to ensure that you should be using the latest version as well now go here and you need to use the developer tool which is can be accessed using the f12 or uh, simply you can right click and click on inspect and once you will do that you need to go to these three dots here then go to more tools and here you need to find a recorder so this is now a built-in recorder into your chrome browser so that you can record and playback so they say that record a common user journey on your website or app replay the recording to check if the flow is working generate a detailed performance trace or export a puppeteer script for the testing but it is not saying anything about the Cypress itself so how we can do or work with the Cypress here? So simply we need to search for Cypress Room Recorder because this extension will help us to you know export the Cypress script from here. So this is the one. Uh, let me go back here. Search for let me open the chrome extensions here chrome extensions here let's go here into the store and search here cypress chrome recorder yeah that's it so this is the extension we need to install so click on this one add to chrome add extension and that will be added to your chrome so let's click on this one and now go here and pin this one so that we can see this here into the bar now let's open a orange hrm website which we used earlier so orange hrm website orange and show demo website and let's record a scenario here and now let's open the dev tools open the recorder here and here you will need to click on this start new recording click on this one name the recording so i'm naming it as first recording and that's good and then click on start new recording i will reload the page first and then what i need to do is that i need to click on admin then you need to provide the password and then click on login and once you're login i need to click on assign leaves then i'm logging it out so once you're done with that click on stop and from here you can replay this one and also you can see that it captures my all steps this page this navigation click on this username change the name key down key up so whatever I perform as a user it captures each and everything here right now 
let's replay this and see what happens so you will see that it will go and into the login and it should go to to the assign leaves here and it's trying to find the assign leaf and it will fail here because the resolution is different here right and there's some kind of actions which we need to update while recording and playback right so this this is something which i need to show you here now the main and important thing is to export and this is an export option here and click on this one and here you will see that export as a separate test script click on this one and let me drop it on my desktop and once it will be done let's go to the desktop and this is a file and if we really want to see the file right click on this one let's open this into the notepad plus plus and yes so here you see that describe block it block don't worry about this viewport It's basically define the screen resolution where we are testing we will learn about this in our upcoming tutorials but you can see visit this one visit this one then get this one then get this one and each and everything is done here properly and now if i really want to know and i know that we don't want to visit again and again so we can remove this one from here save this here now how i can use this script into my visual studio code so that's really simple rename this file here and put dot js into the end and copy this file and paste it into your integration folder of your cypress so we are using this one so going to cypress going to integrations we are in learning we are in tutorials and i am pasting it here so once you are done with this one you will see that now we are seeing this here as well now click on this one and you see the script is ready for you and you can update modify as per your requirement so let's run this and see what happens for that now open the test runner here and let me open the new terminal here so it will be npx cypress open so let's open the test runner and once it will be open we will execute this script and see what happens so it is not necessary that each and everything will be recorded so we need to modify we need to tweak something to make it work for ourselves but it will help you in a lot of the ways so let's wait for the cypress test runner to be open and once it will open we will execute this and see Cypress test runner is up and running so let's go here and now click on this one so you will see that it will take to this website and see what it will do so viewport changing the resolution then going to open source visiting this one getting this one provided the username password and it will click on this assign leaf so we are seeing some kind of errors here but eventually it landed on the sign leaf and logged out we will learn how to debug and fix these things later on but the purpose of this tutorial is to make you understand how to use cypress chrome recorder so that you don't need to spend a lot of time in writing the scripts and also in some cases where you just need a simple scenarios to be executed again and again instead of writing a full-fledged robust framework you can just use these record and play mechanism in order to make sure that your application is working fine thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial